Hello all, welcome in this another SAP tutorial. In this SAP tutorial, we will learn how to create a service entry sheet. Basically, you should first understand what is the service entry sheet. Service entry sheet is a SAP MM document which indicates an that user has verified vendor services which is supplied by vendor as per the terms and condition of the purchase order clause right after the purchase order vendor has supplied the services as per the requirement of the company requirement of the organization so concerned project in charge will create the service entry sheet and verify the vendor service as per the routes okay so in this sap tutorial we will learn how to create service entry sheet as per the purchase order these are the some sap transaction code that is how can you create the service entry sheet transaction code is ml81 and how can you display the approved service entry sheet using ML81 same transaction code? SES changes before approval. You can change using ML81 and same transaction code. How can you amend the SES? You can amend the SES using same transaction code ML81 and using competent authority login who has approved the service entry sheet, right? How can you print the service entry sheet? The transaction code is ML83. If 99.99% you can try to approve your service entry sheet with attached necessary document in the attachment corner using workflow. But if 0.01% workflow issue is there, then you your competent authority directly approved the service entry sheet using ML81N. It should be used in the rare case okay until unless there is any emergency your bill is going to expire and all okay otherwise you can consult with your uh, mm consultant team uh, they will resolve the workflow issue and you can approve through workflow this tutorial i am going to show you for just uh, your learning purpose training purpose purpose and understanding purpose please share this tutorial with your concern sections okay and here I will see also if you want to go apply any deduction as per the PO clause then you can, how can you apply so we will see the practical how to create the service entry sheet first you should execute the transaction code ML81N click on the other purchase order and here you can fill your approved purchase order fill the respective line item for which you want to create service entry sheet otherwise by default it will pick a first line item click on this I can create service entry sheet mention the short text test SES created for your job test services okay here you can mention the service provided by vendor from which duration to which duration service location if any external number you can fill here person responsible external person responsible internal you can uh, fill your HRMS number here you can fill your uh, storage location here reference circle okay and click on adopt full quantity if you want to adopt full quantity from the purchase order you can adopt full quantity tick if you do not want to adopt full quantity then you can uncheck the uh, icon okay in basic data acceptance data here you can fill the document text okay test case <coughs> test PR and PO in the long text you can fill the detail of your SES and here there is a corner column you can uh, create 
attach the necessary document uh, with respect to service certificate here you can mention test service supplied by vendor and all okay in the additional data you can apply the deduction for example you want to apply 1 rupees deduction 50 paise deduction for in case my purchase order is for 2 rupees so i have applied a 50 50 paise rupees deduction here okay so depending on your choice okay depending on your choice you can and click on this save button once you save this approve the service entry sheet using workflow right and uh, you can uh, take the printout of uh, your uh, service entry sheet using ml83 okay you can and you can display the same using ml81 and okay so after the service entry sheet job and uh, attachment of the service certificate and the necessary document in the attachment type you can uh, give the printout of the service entry sheet to your claim section okay we have complete this service because and after the completion of the service supplied of the service within within a week vendor will issue the invoice process and uh, the claim officer or uh, your account officer will uh, run the uh, Miro and uh, done the payment to the vendor, right? If you want to do any changes, then the same process uh, amend the SES from the competent authority login, approver login, and reverse the R2 R1 and do the changes. I will show in the different tutorial, okay? So, thank you for watching this uh, SAP tutorial. If you have any query in your mind, please mention in the comment section and uh, share this knowledge with your friends and colleagues. Okay. Knowledge sharing is very important. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day.